This is Twit. This next story has to do with uh, cough and snore detection. So a nine to five <laughs> Google. <laughs> there, there's a segue for you, everybody. Yeah, sorry. Story. Very cough sexy feature. And sneeze detection. <laughs> Sorry, you know sometimes they don't. They don't always work, and I, I can, I can, I can tell you right now, I wasn't really trying very hard on that one. So, <laughs> my apologies. Uh, let me try again. Hey, did you hear a nine to five Google APK insight actually points to Google's anticipated snore and cough detection? This happening during sleep, coming to Android's uh, digital well-being, and thankfully. We have Michelle on the show because Michelle actually posted on Reddit kind of expanding on what 9to5Google found about this feature. And, uh, yeah, so tell us kind of – you said that there were certain things that the article didn't point out. What, what, were, the, what were those things? Okay, so to take, just take a step back. Take you know, in order back. to actually <laughs> – in order to actually detect when someone is coughing or snoring, you know, you need an application or you need some, you need to collect continuous microphone data, right? So um, a lot of people would probably hear that and think, oh, crud, my phone is constantly, you know, listening in on me and spying on me. Well, your phone already does that if you have a hardware detection enabled. Yeah. Um, but, you know, in this case, you don't want 20 different apps constantly collecting data from the microphone and waking up the phone to determine was that a cough event was that a um a snore event instead what basically google is building is a framework and like an api so we're like you have one system application that is collecting microphone data or using that microphone data to determine whether or not a cough or a snore happened and then you have another application that can subscribe to those events through an api and saying okay a cough and a snore happened and then it can present that data to the user so what I believe is, is happening with um, in Android 13 with this digital well-being functionality is that there's going to be a system app in the Pixel's case. It'll be the Android System Intelligence app. It'll be providing this ambient context event, um, which is a snore or a cough. And then what's going to be happening is that the digital well-being will be a client. It'll be subscribing to receive events of that nature. And then it can present that to the user. And the, the reason you want to split it up in this way is it kind of makes it privacy preserving. So you have one application doing the bulk of the you know, privacy invasive, um, determining whether or not someone is coughing or snoring using their microphone. And then you have another app, which is kind of independent of the actual microphone data. And it's just you know, using that to show the user whether or not they coughed or snored. Yeah, did it happen, yes or no? And uh, for all those people tracking their sleep, which is not something that I do ever, so I'm probably the but people, know, but, but the people, people do. who do, but people who do it are really into it, yeah. right? So like I yes. get like there, there's somebody there's some somebody out there is very excited by this, so yeah. not me. Is is this? Oh, I already track my sleep. So, do you? Uh, but yeah, I do with my. So but but not why with do you Google? You but with my, with my so why, what do you get out of tracking your sleep? Like like. Um. So. <sighs> This is going to be a total off topic. So um, I'm trying to TLDR this. Uh, <laughs> I, I I get to kind of uh, optimize like my workouts and like know how hard I have to push, know when I have to pull back. Uh, and know I just need to take a nap every day. That's basically it. Or, right. um, based on your sleep? With, with, based on sleep details? You, you'll well, wake up and you'll that, look at it and you'll be like, okay, t today's going to be a, a, a go day in the gym. That sort of yeah, thing? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Really? More, more or less, yeah, exactly. Wow. Um, and then wow. with the app that I use, you, get to, you, you can do a journal where you can say, okay, I drank coffee at 5 p.m. or I ate late or I did this. Did yeah, that, and that would be kind of interesting, right? That's more interesting. Yeah, because yeah. because I've, I've totally, you know, for a long time, like I don't really drink a whole lot of coffee, but I, there was a long time there where I wouldn't put really put a limit as far as like the time of day and be like, oh, whatever. I, I drank coffee at five o'clock in the evening and it doesn't affect my <laughs> sleep. But I bet you it probably did. Just because mm -hmm. I fell asleep and I slept doesn't mean I had good sleep. You know, I could have had exactly. restless sleep and not known it. So, exactly. yeah, that's that's yep. important information. Um yeah. So oh, and uh, here, here's one more little tidbit to get you thinking. Right. So um, if, if you have the second generation Nest Hub, you'll know that one of the advertised features is coughing and snoring detection. Yeah, I was going to ask Well, imagine that. if a detachable Pixel tablet slash Nest Hub Ooh. were to run Ooh, Android 13, then how that. would it re-implement that functionality? So Boom! It could be this. That just <laughs> happened, ladies and gentlemen. Together. 
Right here. Michelle yeah. dropping the bomb. That's 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 <laughs> how you tie it all together right there. Dang. Yeah, you're right. This all makes a lot more sense too. As a result, that's that's really cool. Excellent. Okay. So I, I still don't know that I'll use it, but still that's pretty neat. That's that's pretty uh cool kind of interoperability.